When I'd first come up to Chicago, Gwenda, uh, Gwenda J had given me my first uh, show in Chicago and I had, uh, she'd been really uh, receptive of the work and I had been coming up to Chicago with graduate school friends and so I kind of was getting to the point where I knew the scene and felt like I knew which galleries my work might make sense in. And Gwenda was definitely on that list. She did respond to it and, and uh, put me in a group show right away, which really was a huge encouragement to me early on. It got me excited right away and, uh, and you know, you need sometimes that jump start out of graduate school, so I was painting a lot. And I continued to show with her while I was working at other galleries. But um, around uh, 96, I was uh, back without a job again. Gwenda, though, had been watching what I'd been doing with that gallery um, across the hall from her, it turned out. And so so uh, at that time, she said, well, you know, I'm going to be looking for a director uh, this year, and maybe we could work something out. When Gwenda was was here and on site, I you know we did one solo show, and I felt like that was kind of okay. She kind of handled a lot of the the um, you know dealing with clients on that show. But I guess when it comes to my work, I, I mean I often uh, I feel fine and comfortable talking about it, but. I've got a lot of artists here that I represent, and I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to representing my own work because I'm always deferring to the other artist. If someone's looking at one of my paintings and someone else's, guess who's I'm gonna right. I'm gonna push, you know? And so I'm not my best dealer. The irony is that I'm a Chicago artist, and I show less in my own hometown than I do in other parts of you know of the country, like the South and and a little east of here, and you know. I brought in a number of uh, new artists, young artists, um, that, from around the country and from here in Chicago. And, and, and so it's kind of like, um, we're re in fact, we're gearing up for some, sh for some of the first solo shows by some of those artists. So sometimes you don't have a solo show by someone you pick up right away. It takes a year or two to, to, uh, to ramp that up. And so that's just starting to happen now. And I think that's beautiful timing. So some of uh, the artists that I've run into the gallery are just now really starting to hit their stride here. But I will be bringing um, more in. And I think that we're going to see, you hate to predict before things happen, but because I like to just go where the good art is, uh, the art that moves me, and often I don't really care where that comes from. Having said that, I'm really interested in focusing a lot more on Chicago artists. You know, we've never been a gallery that focuses on a genre. You know, like we're not a landscape gallery and we're not um, a gallery that, that um, just shows abstraction. Because, you know, I mean, those seem to be kind of, in this day and age, those seem to be kind of artificial categories anyway. I think if you kind of focused on the, on the type of work that we're often putting on our walls, a lot of times subject matter is almost beside the point and and a lot of times it's work that somehow falls in this interesting area between abstraction and representation um, and it's usually very physical it's 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 tactile it's got a visceral quality to it um, that's the kind of work that that turns me on and that moves me so an artist like Howard Hirsch here I think in the end fits in perfectly with um, say any one of our figurative artists who, um, where the subject matter are worlds apart, but maybe not so far apart as someone might at first think optically when they look at it. They might see that the handling of the paint is similar, that the fact that they're experimenting with materials and that they're pushing that envelope in their studio and that there's a, a sense of, of mystery in the work. I think that's really important to our work here too. And um, and that they're really engaged with the physical process and it's not just about kind of rendering an image.